Hello, dear scientist, engineer, teacher, and visitors. The work convolution capsule model for wheat classification is presented to you attention. The work was performed by authors at the Vinica National Technical University for the seventh international workshop on computer modeling and intelligent systems. With recognition models are important for agricultural in general and for precision farming in particular. These models provide the opportunity for the automation and optimization of this agricultural growth. The importance of wheat recognition model in agricultural is its ability to increase precision for wheat quality assessment, conduct the identification of seed variety and class, and improve the process of crop management. The ability of models help to decrease expenditures, improve product quality, and initiate new possibilities for agricultural establishment. Capsule Networks shows stable learning process with a lower sensitivity to knowledge transferring in comparison with tested convolution neural networks underlying their reliability and stability during learning in case of complicated datasets with limited data training. Such factors as dataset complexity, learning time and preprocessing technologies play crucial role in the definition of the general productivity of such hybrid architectures. Some of funded model you can see in this slide. Most models demonstrate good precisions but have some shortcoming or are not fully suitable for task. Some models are not open for use or have no open architecture. Some have problem with learning parameter transfer and some works with other types of images. The review showed that no model would be ideal for use in with classification task and work immediately. That is why this is need to develop our model. The CNN CapsNet architecture consists of two parts, namely CNN and CapsNet. Convolutional layer are used to obtain the initial map of functions. CNN model used CNN CapsNet architecture formed on the base of four convolutional layers. The activation functions E for layers is a loop. At the moment, two models have been developed. One to identify cases based on the binary designation of ripe width on or unripe width. The second model conduct classification based on three categories of ripe width, unripe width, and diseased or damaged width. The goal of computational experiments is the development and estimation of the ability of two classifiers to generalize, especially in the case of CNN and CapsNet. The efficiency of each model 
will be estimated for such indicators as classification precision, recall and F score, which are the crucial parameters of measurement of the learned model productivity. Formulas for computing these indicators are shown on this slide. Formulas 1, 2 and 3. The researcher's dataset of images consists of training sets, validation sets and testing sets. An initial learning rate is 1000 part. The model agrees with Adam Optimizer. Other parameters were shown on this slide. The marginal loss function is used to determine the characteristics of the class. Its equation is shown on this slide in the formula 4. Figures show the learning precision and testing of the convolutional model of the CNN CapsNet neural network of the binary and ternary classification problem. After sorting epochs, the learning is stopped. After learning the precision of the model on the validation dataset exceed 1.9. For learning, use a dataset with description on this slide. The distribution of the datasets to the training and validation sets was in the ratio 90% to 20% and was carried out by random mining. One of the main characteristics of model is adequacy. The adequacy of the artificial neural network model can be assessed by the following feature. The deviation of precision and losses on the training and validation dataset of images when training model is not very significant does not exceed 1.2 on over average. The precision and loss functions on the validation image datasets does not fluctuate very much and does not decrease to minimum values when training the model. The precision function of the validation image dataset tends to increase. Based on the classification results, a confusion matrix was built which is shown in figure. The confusion matrix compares the actual values of the width classes and the model forecast and allow for the calculation of 1 and 2 errors based on which according to the formula from 1 to say. It is possible to calculate precision, recall and f-score. For experiment, use a dataset with description on this slide. Based on the test set recognition results and formulas from 1 to 3, average results were calculated and summarized in Table 1 and Table 2. Table 1 shows performance indicators based on the results and experiments for the binary classification and table 2 for ternary classification. To check the efficient of the model, a comparison of this model with other was made according to the precision. For comparison, model with similar architecture were used, which combined CNN and CapsNet architecture. The results are aggregated in table C. This paper proposed the model of the neural networks with improved architecture which combines convolutional neural network 
and capsule networks. This model is used to classify wheat in two classes, ripe, unripe, and say classes, ripe, sick, unripe. Precision value mostly rate 0 0.8, 0 0.9, which can be considered as a good result. This model can be used for forecasting the quality of the wheat harvest and independent assessment of a class of wheat which are important for planning for business purposes and agriculture enterprise and precise farming.